we're going to look at another one that I, I like. Uh, of all the ones we've looked at now, it seems there's only about five or so that I really like of all the ones I've put together. There's another large one sitting next to it. There's a bunch of boxes down here, so please ignore the clutter. Uh, as we look at, uh, this is our flight from, uh, actually from Beaver Island back to Charlevoix. Uh, and see if I can describe the interior here, where to begin. Well, I'm sitting in the cockpit seat. I'm sitting uh, uh, on the right-hand side of the cockpit. The uh, bars kept bumping my knees, and I kept apologizing to the pilot, and he kept saying, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, we have, of course, the uh, control panel uh, in front of him. He was in constant motion, and when people are in constant motion, I like to photograph whatever it is. His hands were constantly moving all over the place as he flew the plane. We were only... Uh, we're, <laughs> we're like, you know, we're right above the water. It was great, of course, you were there. Uh, but for anyone else looking, you know, we're only, I don't know how many hundreds of feet up. It didn't seem like much. Uh, and the, the flight was couldn't have been more than 10 minutes. It didn't seem very long. Uh, so and here's the pilot. And I kind of struggled with the left half piece uh, for a while, but I think I like the way it turned out. The space, the interior of the plane, I think works out very well. Uh, and here's the couple who were sitting in the middle, the red-haired woman, and uh, Mike, you, I got twice actually photographing uh, the exterior shots. And there is this big thing, you know, I, th this is one of those ones that kind of came out differently than I thought it would. I thought I would have much more of a large rectangular picture, but instead it turns out to be this kind of eye shape, which is very common as well in my experience now. And uh, so the pilot is here. This is the centerpiece coming up the um, the windshield, and he has some uh, stuff up here. This probably should have connected over to here. Uh, I am really doubtful whether this is really just kind of a crossbar from the windshield going up to my right as I was sitting, and then this is my window uh, from the right-hand side of the cockpit. So this chunk here, I'm, I'm kind of dubious about whether I want to leave that in there. But then you have to kind of look at the overall shape of the picture, and, eh, because this is something that people are going to pay attention to at some point. Uh, one thing I go back and forth on that I like and then I want to take out is uh, the, mo the engine, the propeller. And uh, this, of course, fit in there perfectly. I believe we're looking at Beaver Island down here. But the rest of the photos out the window are Lake Michigan. But to my mind, this you know indicates you know time has passed uh, from one moment to the next. We're one point over land, and a lot of time we spend over water. I guess metaphorically, you can say more time was spent over water than land. Uh, we come back. This is 300 for a 360 degree picture. I think this one actually works really well because we come all the way back again to the back uh, behind me to my right. You are again photographing and. And there's the couple. And uh, as a rule, again, just from my years of doing zine publishing, uh, you want people looking towards the center. And so I have them looking at you, looking in this way. Uh, not so much on this side. Uh, she's looking out, but the three of you over here are looking in this way. So that's just, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter, but that's how I was brought up. So there we are, the flight. Uh, Charlevoix Airlines.